Hi hey guys, <clears throat> in this session we're going to be covering a mixture of multiplication, division and powers of powers. Uh, I would strongly recommend watching um, the three videos before this, um, before attempting to understand what's on this video. Let's get started with a little bit of multiplication. Okay, here's a question. 4x squared multiplied by 2x to the power of 3. Now, if you remember from previously, uh, previous videos that is, we know that x has a little 1 there and 2 has also a 1 there which is raised to the power of 1. So, this will equal 4x squared multiplied by 2 to the power of 1. Of course, this 1 is going to get multiplied by 3, which is multiplied by 3, and x is going to be raised to the power of 1, which is also multiplied by 3. And so this is equal to 4x squared multiplied by 2 to the power of 3 multiplied by x to the power of 3. Now, 2 to the power of 3, that's equal to 8. So the answer for this will be 4 times 8. Actually, let's get rid of that times. Let's stick to the little dots, which is also times. 4 times 8 times x squared times x cubed, which means the answer is going to equal 32x to the power of 5. As you can see, 4 times 8, that's where our 32 is coming from. 4 times 8, which is 32. And the x squared and x cubed, when you multiply them, the powers get added to end up with x to the power of 5. Okay, doing another example, with still with multiplication. We're going to try... 2x cubed to the power of 2 multiplied by x to the power of 4. So as usual, um, well since the x already has the power of 3 there, we are going to replace, well not replace, just add a little 1 to the 2 because that's 2 to the power of 1 is 2. So when we expand this we are going to get 2 to the power of 1 multiplied by, let's just give a different color for the 2 there, and this gets multiplied by x to the power of 3 multiplied by 2, and of course all this is multiplied by x to the power of 4. As you can see, this x to the power of 4 just comes here. So expanding this out, we are going to get 2 to the power of 2 multiplied by x to the power of 6 multiplied by x to the power of 4, which is going to bring this to 4, x to the power of 6 plus 4. And so our final answer is 4x to the power of 10. Okay, hopefully this gives you a gener generic idea of um, a mixture of multiplication. Now I want to do a little bit of um, division of power, uh, division of indices with mixed with powers of powers. So let's say we start off with a question like this: x to the power of five divided by x squared, and this 
is raised to the power of 4. Now, there is actually two ways of solving this. I'm going to try and fit both of them in here, but we'll see. Okay, I'm going to do, do this one in two different methods. I'm going to try and split them up. All right, the first method is multiplying the powers. So when we have x to the power of, let's go with 5 there, 5 multiplied by the 4, and that's divided by x to the power of 2 multiplied by 4. Now, of course, when we do this, we are going to get x to the power of 20 divided by x to the power of 8. Now this is simply x to the power of 20 minus 8 and your final answer is going to be x to the power of 12. The other method is solving the brackets inside whatever whatever's inside the brackets first. So you would be looking at x to the power of uh, let's do this. Might just convert this. X to the power of five divided by x to the power of two. Two, and this is this entire thing is to the power of four. Of course, this is equal to because if I just work the inside of the brackets, then I'm going to get x to the power of five minus. 2, and of course all this is raised to the power of 4. Now that means the inside of the bracket would become x to the power of 3, and that's raised to the power of 4, which means this is also equal to x to the power of 3 times 4, which means my final answer is also going to be x to the power of 12. And as you can see, both of these answers are the same. So you can actually do it in two different methods, and you'll still end up with the same answer. So option A is you can expand it out of the bracket straight away, or option B, work inside the brackets first, and then work out the power at the end. Okay, moving on to the next little question. When we have a question like this, if we have 12 x to the power of 4 divided by 3x squared, and that is raised to the power of 2. Now, when you actually have numbers, it's probably easier to simplify inside the bracket first and then expand it out. For example, uh, in this case, we know that 12 divided by 3 is 4. So I'm going to replace that with a 4. And of course, x to the power of 4 divided by x squared is equal to x to the power of 4 minus 2, or in other words, x squared. So this is going to equal 4x squared to the power of 2. And when we expand this out, remember that 4 is by itself, which means it's got a little power of 1. So this would be 4 to the power of 1 times 2. And of course, x, which has a little 2, of course, it's going to be x squared. And that power is going to get multiplied by 2. So your final answer is going to be 4 squared times x to the power of 4. Now 4 squared is of course equal to 16. And so the final answer is 16x to the power of 4. You can do it the other way where you expand it, where you write 12 squared x to the power of 8. Um, but of course, you know, when you start working with bigger numbers, it's going to get hard without a calculator. So it's probably easier to simplify inside the bracket first 
and then work through. Okay. A good question came up um, earlier from one of my students. What happens if the power of the variable is higher in the denominator? So I'd like to have a look at that example real quickly. So this is when you have y to the power of 3 divided by y to the power of 5 and all this is raised to the power of 4. As usual, like before, I could actually show this to you in um, two different methods. And just want to put the colors here just to make it a little bit easier. So we have we have two different methods here. So let's do the first method where we actually do the powers, multiply the powers first. So this is going to be y to the power of 3 multiplied by 4 and that's divided by y to the power of 5 multiplied by 4. So this would equal y to the power of 12 divided by y to the power of 20. And according to our rules we would have 12 minus 20 and so the answer would be y to the power of negative 8 or 1 divided by y to the power of 8. Now doing it the second method uh, we are going to work inside the bracket first simplify inside the bracket and then multiply it by the power of 4 so then this would be y to the power of 3 and because that 5 is on the denominator it's going to get subtracted and this is going to look like this and when we expand of course simplify it inside we're going to get y to the power of negative 2 which is then raised to the power of 4 so we would have y negative 2 multiplied by 4 which equals y to the power of negative 8 which is the same thing as 1 over y to the power of 8 and as you can see both ways you're going to get the same answer well that's all for this session um, I will continue with a little bit more of multiplication division and powers of powers in the next session thanks for watching